Hello everyone, welcome back to another learning session by K21 Academy and today our expert trainer will be discussing about what is automated machine learning, designing and implementing a data science solution on Azure. So make sure you're watching the video till the end. ML. What is it? Train multiple models in parallel, varying algorithm, pre-processing. Get the best model for a specific performance metric. It basically helps us to check the entire entire hypothesis set. Whatever the algorithms you have, whatever the pre-processing you want to do, all such possible combinations, the entire capital H hypothesis set, it will test out, test, te tell you when your experiment generated the best output. Because it's going to do all the runs, internal parallel runs. Automated. Otherwise, you're going to have to design iterations, epochs and iterations to do it yourself. So find the best model based on a specific performance metric. By the way, automated ML can also be done using coding. Yes, there you will get even more options. Yes. So if you have the software development kit, the software development kit, the software development kit, the Azure ML dot core package. This one, Azure ML dot core. Packages, compute, image, web service, modules, authentication, targets, conda dependencies, data set, data store environment, model, uh, run. One of our learned participant said about that run. Script run configurations, which are estimators, classes, compute target, data set, data store, environment experimentations, key vaults, models, run, script run configurations, web service, workspace, very important, parent of everyone. That's it. So from the next section onwards, you will see us dropping our attention to auto features and focusing more on the ML using the coding approach. Please understand, if your aim is to clear the exam, DP100, 80% of your exam will be the coding. I should tell you the truth, right? But we're going to understand the code in such a way that you will not feel uncomfortable. Understanding it, Design pattern. Design pattern is what we're going to be discussing. Right? So we're going to be discussing the design pattern properly. And if we have thoroughly discussed the design patterns, then you are not going to have a problem in that. All right? So this brings us to the end of the discussions for package and we will just quickly look at the slides again yeah so you other 20 percent auto ml and the designer and the basics of data science but most of the exam dp100 is coding 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 they're going to ask you to fill the code they're not so general question that then people ask is will they ask us to write the code no they're not going to ask you to write code but what they will say is that here is the code this is what you want to do complete this code piece so at various places there will be fill in the blanks and there will be a drop down in place of that blank you're going to have to select the proper thing that will be placed there so they don't ask you to write code. They ask you to fill code on the basis of a drop down. Okay. There will be a drop down. You pick what should come over there. If you do the labs of the subsequent modules properly, you understand them. Examination would be just a formality. I'm telling you. If the hands-on of the a module 3 onwards is properly done. So that would be then properly just formalities. 
exam would become a formality for you. You go and sit. If you have thoroughly revised all the um, these things, module three onward labs, hundred percent cleared exam, right? Majority of it is the that thing. So automated ML in the studio, you select the data set, you upload file in case you need to do that or you import from a web and register the data source. That's very important. Configure the run, experiment, target label, compute, task, task type and setting like a classification, a regression or a time series. Tell them normalization and scaling is automatic. It automatically does normalization, automatically does a scaling. Optional featureization includes dropping high cardinality features, imputing the missing values with a mean, median, or a mode, automatic categorical encoding with the one hot encoding patterns, derived feature generation if, if it can derive non correlated features out of correlated features, it will find them. If two features are there which are themselves correlated, there's no meaning to keep them together. It can derive a new feature out of them. Right? Data guardrails mitigate unbalanced data. Yes, it will automatically find class imbalances and automatically mitigate such imbalances. Okay. Configuration options. You have to tell it the primary metric, which is used to evaluate the best model for you. Help you explain the model. Very critical, very important. That's why I spent time on it. Block the algorithms. Restrict your hypothesis set. Exit criterion, you can tell it, enable early stopping or not, which you should use, otherwise it will waste your CPU cycles. Validation, you can use cross validation, Monte Carlo validation in case you wish. Concurrency, set number of parallel iterations, yes, you can. So guys, this was our expert from Team K21 Academy and if in case you have any doubts or if you want to have a deeper dive, then we have something really special for you. We have our free class on how to prepare for AI or ML or data science on cloud, especially on Azure for higher paid jobs. So you just have to visit k21academy.com forward slash dp1002. You'll be seeing this kind of interface. Just click on book your free seat now. Select an event date according to your availability. Enter your name, your email address and your phone number and click on Yes, save my seat. Moving ahead, you'll be seeing this kind of interface and a link on the extreme right. So just save that link, add it to your calendars and I'll see you in this free class. Till then, keep learning.